Okay, this vehicle, Nissan Murano, is 2004. It had a pressure code. I saw metal in a pan, but I couldn't see where that metal come from. Um, but I had a chance now. If you look down here in this drum, you'll see the piston is damaged. There's a big hole there, so it had to leak. Okay, now what we're going to do is take a puller and put it underneath the flange. If you have a, a type where you can put three bolts inside the, the pulley, that pulley, or the flange, excuse me, then you can pull it that way. But I use a regular one and go underneath the flange, and I'm going to pull the flange up along with the bearing. So I'm hooking on to the bottom of that flange, and I'm going to pull it up. Flange and the bearing together. And set it to the side. Then I'm going to flip this over to the other side. Okay. Now, I've already taken this bearing off here. But it's not really designed to be taken off. But I'm going to show you what I did. I used that uh, guillotine clamp and slid it under the bearing. And then I took it to the press. And I pressed down in the center and the clamp came up and pulled the bearing out or up off the shaft. Again, press down in the center with the press, the bearing come up. Now, it broke because it's not, again, it's not designed to come off. There is a, a ring that keeps it down only. So, if this part gets bad, then you're going to have to just replace that whole part. Unless you can come up with a way to find a bearing that can press fit on there. Uh, for the most part, this one is a one-shot deal. It's good or not. Now we flip it back over and there are some keys in there that keep the piston in. You can see right there and there is a ring. Well this drum was so bad I had to do some special things to it. I had to weld on it to try to and cut on it to get things out. So you will see that. Okay, I finally got this ball, this drum apart. This drum just does not come apart the way it's supposed to come apart. Okay, for the most part, on this side, the piston goes in here like this. This is how it was before I just cut it. Um, it has keyways that goes in like this. They go in slots here. The slots are right there to keep this piston down. Okay, you cannot get that piston out unless you first take these out of the way. They go in the slots, they come out. Now, what I found out there was a ring keeping them in. I couldn't get that ring out. So I end up cutting it. Now I'm not for sure, because this drum was so bad, if that ring is supposed to come out. But it didn't appear like it did. So I cut the ring. So I was able to pull these keys out of the way. And then the drum was so bad. It was stuck inside of this housing here. The piston, excuse me, inside the drum. That what I end up doing is welding two bolts on here so that my clamps can grip it without sliding up and I used a this type of clamp here and put these bolts here. I wasn't using this drum anyway, piston it was bad. 
and I did like that. Okay, I'll get a closer view. I pulled it up so and then I put it in a press pressed in the middle held it here and this pulled the drum up out okay now this piston here it has a spring in there. There's the spring. If you can see, it has a spring. Spring comes out, but this one is welded in because I cut it. Okay. It come out. Well, this drum, which is what I was looking at, you can see here, it was cut right here. Right here you can see damaged here okay and the inside of this drum was scored <clears throat> inside it was scored you can see around the edges all right now there's something else that you need to see why this drum messed up they have balls that rides on here. Let me see if I can get a better view. There's balls that rides in these channels. You see channels here? Let me see. There's the channel. The balls ride here. Now, if you look. If you look, you can see I can't even see that good. Let me see. Right there, you see where that channel twisted. Both of those slots are supposed to be lined up. <clears throat> okay. So they both supposed to be lined up. They didn't line up. The drum, the balls broke and it twisted, which makes this hard to move up and down. This should be easy to move up and down. It is not. It's hard to move up and down. So this is definitely bad. Now, the only way to get this out, I can put the guillotine around here, press this out. Put this out. I'm going to put it here Put and push this out. Okay, so I'm going to take this on the press. I'm going to press here. And then this is going to be on blocks. Press down, hold up. I should be able to push this, pull this out. Okay. I pulled it up, press it down. This comes out like so.
there are no bowls in here because they're all gone. There are no bowls in there are no bowls in here because they're all gone. If you can see, this area here is worn out. The balls ride here. So they ride up and down on here and on here. You can see this is worn. See here. See the area is is worn. The slots here are supposed to line up with the slots on this shaft. Okay. So, balls go in here. This is it for this variator here. We'll go on to the next one later. Once again, but this goes, these parts line up like this, like that. The spring goes in, then this piston goes inside. Then these keyways, once this piston is down, you see the slot. The slot. They go into a slots on the shaft. Both of these go into the slot, the shaft. Then this goes down. Then comes the bearing. You press the bearing in. Then you screw on the nut. So you have the nut the bearing, this flange, then take the keyways out, then get the piston out with the spring, then you can pull this off. That's this shaft. If these are messed up, there is a fix that you could do for this, but I'm not going to use the shafts because it's so bad. Um, but this shaft is bad. If it's bad, you find another pulley. And then you look at the inside of the drum. If that inside is scored, it's no good. Then you need another drum. This part here. This. Okay, that's it for this pulley. We will move on to this pulley next time.